Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse, where we're trying to turn Paperweight and Skunkarpia against each other. Uh, we seem to need to do something with Sal and the Gorilla over here, and you guys have said that I'm pretty close to solving this one. Um, I was trying to get this thing to turn back around, because obviously there was the, the big tentacle beast destroying the city, and it said something on the tour about, well, something along those lines, didn't it? Uh, let's see if we can use it. Which one was it now? Is it one of the red ones? Please make your way to the animatron of the terrible beast assaulting the city. Yeah, that's beast the one. Beast attacking the city. I see a beast, boss, but he's not attacking any city. Yeah, so we're going to have to get him to attack the city, but the problem is that the city's gone. Um, so I don't know how we're going to do that. I'm trying to think how I turned it around. I, wasn't there something we like interacted with on here? I'm pretty sure there was, but whatever it is isn't there now. So the other thing I wanted to try is the rhinoplasty on this thing, because that's a picture over there. Um, where are we going? Here, this. Because that is a picture there of um, the picture of the skull. So I wonder if we can... Yeah, we can use this. Look. So can we turn into... A talking skull. I'm sure that will be useful. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty useful in um, in Monkey Island. So why not? Your Highness. Yes. Uh, huh. you like it here? So, Your Highness, you impressed by the 21st century yet? Oh, most definitely. Though we do feel a bit out of our element. Don't worry. Once we teach you a few crude gestures and get rid of the whole talking in the plural thing, you'll we'll get right in. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be fine. What about entertainment? After all this is over, we'll all head to Broadway and take in a show. Oh, bread and circuses! Are there gladiator fights? No. Actually, it's mostly a bunch of people dressed up as cats singing about wanting to break loose. <laughs> and then a chandelier falls on them. <laughs> what about your brain? How did your brain stay alive all these years anyway? Before our death, we left strict instructions with our viziers to pickle our brain in a special solution of crocodile tears and ground ibis beaks. Lovely. That kept your brain alive? Don't be ridiculous. It was our special gift that kept our brain alive. Duh. Right, okay. Well, let's ask about you. How did a kid like you get to become Pharaoh? Did your daddy Pharaoh die when you were young? Oh no, our dad was a sandal maker. We became Pharaoh after we stumbled upon the toys of the gods while stealing coins from a tomb. Ah. The toys awakened latent abilities within us, granting us the power to cast the royal family into the Nile and reshape the entire kingdom in our now divine image. I see. Now, there's a heartwarming rags to riches story. <laughs> Let's ask more. If the toys made you so powerful, how'd you end up as a pickled brain in a jar? During our reign, there were always a few troublemakers who, impervious to our divine powers, rebelled against our benevolent but firm dictates. We suspect one of them finally snuck past our defenses. Okay. Hold any grudges? Sam, that's all in the past. Even if we did hold an eternal grudge against the mystery assassins who deposed us all those centuries ago, it's not as if we can do anything about it now. Right. Oh, is right. this going to be like a clue to the plot in the future? I've got to find a way past Cosmic Gorilla Guy and Doctor Strange Accent. Yeah. Hmm. Early in our reign, we found out that a minor vizier and a captain of the guard were conspiring against us. We could have wiped them out with a thought, but it amused us to turn them against each other instead. Well, that's what we're doing, so we've just got to figure out how to get the... Aha! We shall roll like a wheel! Yes? Uh, you sure know your obscure yeah. cultural references, your majesty. <laughs> roll! Roll onward! Alright, off we go. So we're going to have to try and figure out how to get this gorilla to destroy the city. Uh, what is this? It's just a mysterious display. Neolithic mustache clippers? Alright. We've got the head. We've got this thing. We've got the guided tour. Can we go out? None shall pass. Oh no, we can't. Gotta love the classics. All right, off we go. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've gotta keep a lookout for Sam. 
<laughs> All right, so couldn't hit the side of a granary with a throw stick. So he's like, he is shooting, oh. but he's shooting at Max, which makes me think that we've got to do something with Max. I'm not really sure what that would be. Is there anything else we can? Look at around here. Let, hang on, let's. So if we turn back into just normal Max, is there anything else we can do powers-wise around here? We've done Future Vision. Is there anything else we can Rhinoplasty? We've done that because that was the the big Zeppelin thing. doesn't really look like it's, it's that, obviously. There's nothing else that I can see. Unless there's maybe something in one of the other rooms. Potentially. Let's see if there's anything else. Or maybe there's something in here. Let's see. Can we teleport into here? Where are we going? Let's go into the office. Because the office, actually, we haven't done anything in yet, have we? We came in here earlier, but it doesn't seem like there was anything to do. What have we got? We've got a map. I wonder what all these intersecting lines mean. Oh, well, probably doesn't matter since the whole place is going to get eaten by a giant purple apocalypse beast in a few years anyway. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It's a map of the city, right? <laughs> I see where we're going here. I see where we're going. Can we just leave through the door? It's locked. No, we what can't. What kind of paranoid freak keeps his door locked from the inside? <laughs> I locked all my slaves inside my birthday pyramid after they finished building it. Oh. Paperweight's not a slave. Are you sure? Well, that might be some uh, some more hints there. Um, right, where do we want to go? Upper level Egypt. Should we just go back to the info desk? Because that's close to... What do you call it, isn't it? So if we, if we know that the gorilla attacks Max, if we turn Max into a map of the city, will that be what counts as the beast attack in the city? Perhaps? Let's have a look. Oh How yeah, look. Amazing. We've been transmogrified into a glittering futuristic metropolis. Why do we feel like we're about to vomit? Yeah, there we that go. Would be the East River. Try to breathe through your mouth. Okay. So now if we do this. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've gotta keep a lookout for Sam. Ooh, he's a smart one, isn't he? Who is this annoying creep? Are you Sam? We are the Pharaoh, you odiferous primate. <laughs> and you would do well to kneel in our presence. How yeah. How about I make you dance instead? Oh. Tra -la -la. Okay. He's, he's attacking the city now. So... Please make your way to the animatron of the terrible beast assaulting the city. Right. Beast attacking the city. Let's see. Ah, there it is. So he's good. Ah, okay, there we go. He's over here now. Uh, so, how do we get these guys to attack each other? I'll head back to base now, Mr. P. Oh, what? Oh, okay. okay. There's obviously more to this. Please make your way to the animatron of the terrible beast assaulting the city. The beast attacking the city. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Okay, so he's over here. Maybe there's something else we've got. Humanity there. has long pondered about the eventual fate of the Earth. Today, thanks to sophisticated supercomputers, scientists have determined that the world will end in the year 2015, as giant monsters, environmental disasters, and political apathy combine to turn our world into an unlivable hellhole shortly before the sun unexpectedly goes nova. That sounds fun, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Boss. Very <coughs> informative. Anything else, boss? Uh, yeah, I think it probably is. Uh, boss, 
There ain't no hourglass here. Anything else, boss? Uh, yeah. The Maybe. The museum is proud to have recently obtained the preserved remains of the mysterious forgotten pharaoh of ancient Egypt. That's great, boss. But what do you want me to do now? Anything I don't know. Else, boss? Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. Now, the eyes to see oh! Of course, poking the eyes in the in the pharaoh exhibit. Really? Oh well, you're the boss. There we go. That's how we get the fight going. Uh, what should I do now, boss? Hey, ouch! My thorax, my beautiful thorax. There we go. The under realms of Embo. What is going on out here? Exactly what we wanted. Aww. I kinda hated doing that to poor Sal. Yeah, I liked yes, Sal. Most unfortunate. Beetles are sacred in my culture. Oh. Actually, I think he's a cockroach. Yeah, he is. Really? Then let him rock. Oh, that's mean. Sal's nice. Generals Concape. What? I would very much appreciate it if your minions would refrain from manhandling my employees. I would appreciate it if you stopped using specious words like man and <laughs> Oh, take it like a man, you big ape. That's it. I've had it up to here with your incessant petulant whining. Petulant? Well, I've had it up to here with your imperious attitude and your odiferous banana breath. Banana breath? Banana breath? This alliance is over! Yes! So be it! Fight time! It warms my heart to see these two fighting again. <laughs> At least I think it does. Sam better come get me before these two losers knock over my jar, or worse, kiss and make up! Oh, we don't want to see that, that is for sure. We hear your majesty. This move's gonna require some sneakiness, and that body you're wearing isn't really known for its stealth. Very well. Yeah, it's certainly is pointless, Terran flea. Eat my primordial wrath, monkey boy. Sneaky sneak. Shh. It's about time. Shush, Max. I would have been here two or three explosions ago if someone I know had the slightest bit of impulse control. <laughs> no. He's walking around without my frame. How'd you work that out? I found a loner in the creepy Egyptian exhibit. Nice kid, but a little bit of an attitude. Now let's get out of here before Goofus and Gallon figure out that we've played them for chumps. Come on, Your Highness. Oh no. Majesty. The toy box! It's mine again! The box! Sam, you didn't stick the brain of a psychically gifted, unstable adolescent pharaoh in my cute little body, did you? <laughs> of course, he loves the idea of that. Must resist. Norrington, help me! My hammer of Patar, the hairballs of Bastard, and the hangnails of Amusin. Reality itself will kneel before Samon Mac! Maybe we should be leaving. You think? Yeah. M maybe this wasn't the best thing we've ever done. Yeah, it feels like we might have done something very, very bad here. <laughs> might have made the situation infinitely worse. And so ends another mind-boggling mystery solved by the loping wits and the capriciously applied violence of the freelance police. Who's up for a sugar grenade? What the hell are you talking about, Sam? I'm still a brain in a jar! <laughs> Don't be silly, Max. You've always been a brain in a jar. No, I haven't. I'm a short, sexy lagomorph with an enormous mouth and dead, shark-like eyes. Hold that thought, everybody. We've got some otherwise to do. Say what? We have the... Mac is handsome. Sam Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of Sam Mac, Mac, we, we give a big salute. Oh, you have got to be kidding. <laughs> Sam, snap out of it! Snap out of what? Ah, just get me out of here! I gotta find my body! Oh no! What have we done? <laughs> We've.
transform the town into ancient Egypt. <laughs> oh dear, did not see this coming, but um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> God, this game. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, Paul Leone, and Flossie the Sheep, and I'll see you next time.